chapter reading for stone soup grade 6 ssc board stone soup the setting is of village a few small cottages standing close by they belong to motiram sona bai hira bai and rupa bai it's evening they are chatting outside motiram's house motiram your farm produce was really good this year i am told sona bai so was yours i hear motiram i don't want to advertise it though it might attract guests traveler enters from a corner the villagers don't see him hira bai you are right guests can be a nuisance sona bai i agree especially uninvited guests motiram uninvited guests are pests traveler becomes nervous doesn't come forward hira bai true i never waste good food and money on others rupa bai do you think that is right how can we refuse them hira bai just find some polite excuses that's all sona bai you are right i can always cook up some excuse motiram me too for me charity begins at home and stays at home anyway i must attend to my work now see you they enter their homes traveler comes forward traveler what hard luck i am a poor foot so traveler and i am so hungry but this bunch of villagers looks tough i don't think they'll offer me food or rest but let me try he knocks on motiram's door motiram opens the door motiram yes who are you and what do you want traveler i am a traveler i am very hungry and tired can i please have some food and a place to rest for the night motiram dinner's over there is nothing left try elsewhere shuts the door with a bang traveler how rude hmm let me try the next door knocks on sona bai's door she comes out good evening kind lady i am a traveler can i have some food and a corner to rest for tonight sona bai putting her hand behind her ear what did you say traveler allow can i have some food sona bai wood why there is plenty in the forest find a fallen tree and chop all the wood that you need traveler i said food i'm hungry sona bai you agree fine then go and chop the wood goes back into the house traveler well well that was a clever excuse she pretended to be hard of hearing let me try elsewhere knocks on hira bai's door anyone at home any food for a hungry traveler hira bai comes out good evening ma'am i wonder if i could get something to eat and a place to rest for the night hira bai pretending not to understand his language ogyava ando dana onsrog ina ero traveler i don't understand you hira bai shaking her head dog i don't tong tong ton og eltwe goes back inside leaving the traveler bewildered traveler so that was her trick talking gibberish i'm not defeated knocks on rupa bai's door she comes out rupa bai yes who are you young man i have not seen you around traveler i am a traveler and i wondered if i could get some food as well as a corner to rest for this night rupa bai things alas my larder is empty i'm so hungry myself but i have nothing left in the house traveler i'm so sorry to hear that rupa bai i'm sorry too but i can't help it sorry turns to leave traveler allowed wait madam if you are also hungry i can make us both some soup rupa bai but i told you my larder is empty i can't offer you anything traveler all i need is a cooking pot a spoon and some water i have a magic stone in my bag when you boil it in water it makes a delicious nourishing soup rupa bai really a magic stone and all you need is a pot of water i think i can manage that traveler yes just a pot of water 
only a big one. Rupa Bai goes back to her cottage. Traveller collects wood and makes a fire in one corner. Other neighbours peep out from their door windows and watch quietly but curiously. Rupa Bai comes out with a very big pot. Rupa Bai, here's your pot of water. Traveller, thank you. Now just wait and watch. Puts the pot on the fire, takes out a stone from his pocket and drops it in the pot. Rupa Bai, a magic stone that makes soup? I can hardly believe this. Sits down to watch. Traveller, sniffing and pretending to enjoy the aroma. Aha, lovely. It's going to be really delicious to Rupa Bai. If only we had one or two potatoes to add, it tastes heavenly with potatoes. But alas, we don't have any. Rupa Bai, hmm, one or two you said. Let me see if I have just one or two left somewhere. Brings a few peeled potatoes. Here, luckily I had just a few left. I have even peeled them for you. Traveller, wonderful. Puts the potatoes in the pot. Stirs for some time and sniffs again. What with the potatoes you've given? The soup will now be terrific. Sniffs. Carrots and tomatoes would give it a tempting colour. Wouldn't they? But that would be too much to hope for. Rupa Bai. Hmm. I don't know. Sona Bai comes out with some tomatoes. Sona Bai. Hello, hello. Maybe I can be of some help. I had reserved these tomatoes for tomorrow. But I am always willing to help, you know. And I know that Hirabai has plenty of carrots. But I am not sure if she will share a few with us. Hirabai enters with a few carrots. I don't have plenty. In fact, I too was reserving these for tomorrow. But never mind. If Sonabai can spare her tomatoes, I too can spare these. After all, you don't get to see a magic stone making a magic soup every day. Traveller bows to the woman. I am really speechless, you noble ladies. This is going to be a famous soup. Adds the vegetables, stirs and sniffs. It reminds me of the soup I had made some time ago. I had added just a few beans, onions and I think a little piece of ginger. And what flavour it had. Those are the only little things missing now. But what we have is also good enough. You can't always have the best. Enter Motiram. Motiram, why not? If you can have the best, why miss the golden chance? Here, take these. When help is needed, old Motiram doesn't lag behind. Offers vegetables. Traveller bows. How can I ever forget your generosity? Adds all the vegetables, stirs and sniffs. Aha! Absolutely mouth-watering. What flavour! What aroma! What taste! Takes a sip. Marvellous! If only I could add a pinch of salt. It would be perfect. Rupa Bai. I'll get some salt and bowls for all of us. Traveller. Thank you. I was about to suggest that. Exit Rupa Bai. You're all being so kind and helpful. It's an unforgettable experience. Rupa Bai returns with the salt, pepper and bowls. Traveller adds the salt, stirs and serves the soup to everyone. Rupa Bai. Ah, oh, wonderful. You can taste the goodness of fresh vegetables. Sona Bai. Yes, unbelievable. No one can think that this soup was made with a stone. Motiram, you've said it. Such delicious vegetable soup and made with a stone? Hirabai, I wonder what happens to the stone. Does it melt away? Traveller, oh no, it remains the same. Takes out the stone from the pot. Take a look, this was the stone that made the soup. Aside to the audience, have you guessed the secret of the stone soup? Smiles, you can make it even without the stone. Thank you.